like where it says, you know, in one, for instance, the first one would say that um, the loan application included one amount for a monthly income, yet there was other evidence in the file that showed that didn't support that type of thing. And I was wondering if you could, if I give you some, you know, whatever time you need, not today, but if you could file specific answers to those allegations, as opposed to just generally that you don't think you should have your license pulled. Okay. Um, you I are in receipt of the order, right? I'm in receipt of the yes, order. If I could correct you, um, I okay. did respond to those um, five um, incidences, and okay. and there was a supervisor that came to my office with Giovanni, okay. and he said they had some more questions because. After I responded, they said that they were going to give me an exit interview where I was going to mm -hmm. be given a two rating. And mm -hmm. Giovanni, with his supervisor, came back into my office okay. and said that the division had some more questions and they wanted me okay. to put some things in writing. Okay. And after he questioned me, yep. he said that he was satisfied with my responses to him and I did not need to put anything else in writing because he felt confident with going back to the division with what I said to him, mm -hmm. I would be I would be cleared. And I he said to me at that time that they were going to give me a two rating. Mm -hmm. When I said to them, couldn't I get back my number one rating, they they laughed and they said, no, they have to make it a two. Okay. That's the last um, conversation that I had with Giovanni's supervisor. The next conversation that I had with someone from the Division of Banks was Dennis Otis, who came into my office with um, Giovanni, and he said to me at that time that they were going to give me a three rating. When I said to him I was not satisfied with a three rating on the, um, them giving me a three rating because I did state it, I said, if you considered stated a fraud, you're my regulatory. You should have said to me, Catherine Gibbons, Miracle Mortgage, we do not want you doing any stated deals because we consider them fraud. Dennis Otis said to me at that time, there are some stated deals that they do do, and that's, for instance, if a person's a doctor or a lawyer, then they will do a stated deal because of the income. I said, well, that's discriminatory. Okay, okay, that's, that's fine. No, I understand. So, okay, that'll, that will come out as we proceed here, okay? Um, what I'd like to do, because I have your request for documents as well, Absolutely. which, and what I'm trying to do is before I rule on which ones that I think are public and which ones are relevant to the case, if, I'd like you to, if you would, I would like you to just specifically take the order, okay, and address the allegations in an answer, okay, to me. Okay. okay. Oh, gee, if you could, you know, no, no, no. And I can get a copy to everybody. But if you could, uh, this is an impartial hearing. I've all that I've read is this put the put you what you have submitted, and I've read the order. Okay. We, we have not had any preliminary discussions. I am an independent hearing officer, um, and I am free to conduct the hearing as I see best uh, protects your rights and your due process. Um, I will ask. Okay, if you could do that, you, you have that. I will ask. Ultimately, Ms. Gibbons, um, obviously you have had the cease and desist orders served in you since February of this year. You haven't operated since February of this year, right? You know, so it's been nine months um, that you haven't been able to operate your broker, mortgage broker business. Um, by pursuing the matter and by pursuing a public hearing, I mean a hearing, excuse me, which you are certainly entitled to, is the bottom line that you basically feel that your um, punishment, if you will, is um, out of line with your violations? Say it's not consistent with what you agreed were violations with the examiner? I didn't agree that there were violations. You weren't didn't agree. Okay. Well, that's why I want you to set that. Okay. Um, so your bottom line is that you want to get your license back? Absolutely. Okay. And how long, just a quick question, how long were you in business prior to this, prior to the cease and desist? I've been in business um, as an originator from since 1998. 
I bought Miracle Mortgage in 2002. Mm -hmm. okay. And up to that time, okay. I've only had, I've had two complaints, which the Better Business cleared me and the division cleared okay. me. Okay. I've had no other okay. complaints or anything, and I've had a, a two rating, then it went to a one. So, right. Right. for them to pull my license saying that because I did stay their deals, it's right. not okay. equitable to me. Okay.